In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make the best undercover police car in ERC to the point where there are no hints that it is actually a police car. If you do enjoy or if you find it useful, make sure you drop a like and also subscribe, but let's get straight into it. Okay, so as I said, this will literally mean that you have no hints that you are a police officer. There will be not one thing that people can see that makes your police car look different to a civilian car. It will look identical and I'm going to show you exactly how in this video. So the first thing you need to do is either have the detective game pass or be on a private server that is trying to help you out i'll quickly explain how you can do it in a private server without the game pass so whether you're the private server owner or whether they're just a private server that you play that has this feature that allows you to do it for free basically instead of actually owning the game pass you can just create a livery that has no actual texture ids and what that means is that the car basically just has no police livery on it and it's just white or whatever color you choose it to be and you can drive that without having the detective game pass so so that can be very very useful and obviously you will need delivery game pass for that the custom livery designing game pass unless you're on a private server where the owner has already done that but if you do own the game pass and you want to do it in a public server this is exactly how so obviously you need to come up to the spawn pad first now there are a few important things that you need to know about this for it to actually work properly and that is that you have to do it in a specific vehicle i'll show you some great vehicle examples later on in this video but to start off with there are a few vehicles you can't use obviously straight off the bat you can't really use the mobile command center and you can't really use the SWAT truck because obviously they look stupid as a civilian car you all know there is not a SWAT truck as a civilian vehicle nor is there a mobile command center I guess maybe if you had the livery game plus you could make it like a fire department thing but that would be crazy and not the point of this video and some more little vehicles vehicles like this you have to be very very careful about because whilst you might think that this is a really really good vehicle to go undercover with this vehicle is not on the civilian team so even if you made this the most unmarked it possibly can to the point where there's no hints you're a police officer experienced players of the game will know that this car is only on the police team therefore if you're driving this you have to be on the police or sheriff team so you have to make sure you use a very very specific vehicle or there are quite a few vehicles that are on both teams however this one is a great example of one where it's only on the police team and I see a lot of people trying to go undercover with that but it doesn't work because experienced players know that it's only on the police team some perfect cars I'm going to show you my top three favorite cars to do this on the first one is the bullhorn prancer pursuit wide body or the dodge charger wide body this is because this car is very very fast and a lot of criminals use it so this is normal to be driving around the map and loads of people will see it and they won't think anything different of it when you're undercover because criminals always use it and of course it has four seats as well so you can still do some great role plays in this now the second one is the falcon stallion 350 again a lot of people drive this on the civilian team and a lot of criminals drive it and it's very fast so again people won't suspect anything the only problem with this only has two seats so you can't really do role plays of taking people to the jail and whatever but it is still a very very good car and then finally we have the bkm munich as you can see i've sort of already made this undercover um just one that i drive around when i'm in a public server anyway but i'm going to show you how you can get even better looking ones than this i mean as you can see there's no marks on this that show it is a police car at all it looks completely undercover and i'm going to show you just how to do this so yeah top three cars bmw x5 or the bkm munich the Ford Mustang or the Falcon Stallion 350 or the Bullhorn Prancer Pursuit Wide Body. We'll start off with this one. So if we go to Customize and then you head over to Team Accessories, of course, the first thing that you want to do is select the undercover livery. And as you can see, already it does look undercover, but obviously it's quite obvious with a ram bar that it is a police car. So what you want to do is you want to come up here first with the light. So you want to put dash light on, turn off the outer grill lights, keep the side window lights on, but then turn Turn off every other bit of light and now as you can see there is not one light on this vehicle ignore the ram bar and the spotlight for now and now if we come down and we turn off the push part and the spotlight as you can see this vehicle is completely undercover don't click off yet there's a few things you need to do first if i spawn this in right now i'll show you that it's not exactly fully undercover if i spawn this in as you can see it might look undercover but most players of ERLC what they do to look out for unmarked police cars is look 
at the license plate. Police cars will always have three numbers or four numbers or five, six numbers, however many it is as their license plate, whereas obviously civilian cars don't do that. But as a lot of you guys will know, some of you might not because it was added quite recently, you can change that. So if we go back, come here, go to customize, and then if we go to team accessories again and scroll down, you want to turn on the unmarked plate and the civilian horn. So the civilian horn is one a lot of people forget about. I didn't really know it was a thing until like recently when I actually noticed it. So civilian horn obviously changes it to a civilian horn and that means you are even more undercover than before. And of course the unmarked plate obviously changes your plate to unmarked. Now there's one last thing you want to do to make this the best it can be and that is change the colour of it. Now obviously a lot of these colours do look like police cars. For example a dark blue like this it just looks like an undercover police car right? Like if you have a car like this you're most likely an undercover police officer and a lot of people know that and there are nowhere near as many colors on here as there are with the civilian and i don't know how this is black metallic this is clearly blue but anyway the best colors for you to use are either this bright red here you want to use this blue the white or the black Obviously the white and black do kind of give it away a little more, but then again, a lot of people do drive around in cars like this on the civilian team as well, so you'll be fine. But something like a bright red, for example, that is not what you would expect a police officer to drive around with. So if you get this and you spawn this one in, which I will do just now, as you can see, there is not one sign anywhere on this vehicle that this is a police car. There are no lights, there's no plates, the horn is a civilian horn you can't hear it because my audio is off but it is a civilian horn and obviously your plate is an unmarked plate it just looks like a normal civilian vehicle the only way people will know you're a police officer is if they're very very smart about it and they use a scanner if they're on the civilian team and they use a scanner they'll see that you're a police officer parked next to them or opposite them or driving behind them or something but most people don't do that because they forget about that or they don't realize they could do that to see if it's a police officer but Normally, this is great. And also, if you want to be very, very sneaky and avoid getting caught with red lights while still having no lights on, turn your cruise lights on. Because when you have your cruise lights on, the game thinks that you that, you're, that you have your main lights on. However, as you can see, there are no lights visible. As you can see in the bottom, my cruise lights are on right now and we can't see any lights on this vehicle. However, we can speed and we can drive through red lights because the game, obviously we have our cruise lights on. So the game is thinking, oh, okay, they're responding somewhere. Can't find them for running red lights. However, we're actually not. There's no signs. We look like a normal criminal speeding around the city, getting no tickets, not getting wanted nothing and then when you do want to respond you can turn on your full lights now granted you do have to be a little careful here it might not be too obvious straight away especially from behind as you can see there's no kind of sign that you're a police officer because there's no lights on the back from the side and the front there definitely isn't it looks very stealthy and then as soon as you get close or you don't want them to see bang just turn your cruise lights back on and they will suspect absolutely nothing or you can have your cruise lights completely off now like i said you do have to be careful with what vehicles you do choose because some vehicles are not on the civilian team so smart players and long time players will know if you're a police officer or not however if we use this vehicle for example they'll have no idea and a lot of people don't even know about the scanner thing like they don't think of using it so you are very very safe in this car this is the most undercover that you will ever really be able to get in erlc it's very very smart now another good vehicle to do this on is the police van this might seem a little bit weird at first but if you go to team accessories again obviously quickly put it on unmarked civilian horn and unmarked plate on and turn off the grill lights you don't want any side lighting even if you do like that that's not really noticeable at all you have to look really really close to notice them side lights but if you want to be completely undercover do not have it on obviously no light bar i'd have the rear window lights on because you can't see them and then if we spawn this in of course you can change the color of this again but if we spawn this in as you can see no signs that you're a police officer you just look like a normal civilian again cruise lights are on run red lights do whatever you want no signs you're a police officer especially if you change the color so yeah some definitely very very sneaky things you can do in RLC to trick people into not thinking you're a cop if this video did help you out at all or if you enjoyed it please do make sure you drop a like and subscribe check out everything else from the description and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye